What's up guys and welcome back to another G35 video. I did end up taking a break last week so I didn't upload anything on the channel. I wanted to use that time for video ideas and also plan out how the channel is going to be going throughout these months. With track season starting up I wanted to make sure that I end up leaving enough time to have that and also be able to do some videos meanwhile the track season starts. But with that being said in today's video we're going to be installing a third brake light on the G35. As you guys may know the G35 already has a third brake light. Mine isn't really working. It kind of works sometimes and most of the time it's usually not working so because my third brake light doesn't work I wanted to go ahead and install an LED third brake light that would basically piggyback off of the wiring from this one so I don't really have to do anything crazy in wiring I personally just like the look I've seen Tesla do it and I've also seen Audi's have that so I'm gonna try it out I don't really know if I'm gonna like it or not if I don't like it I'm gonna end up just taking it off so here we have the LED strip that I was talking about so I ended up buying this on Amazon for like 20 bucks I'll leave the link in the description down below if you guys want to pick it up so what it comes with is a controller as well so you can have the right side blink with the blinker itself and have the left side blink as well I kind of don't want to use it I kind of just want to keep it simple and keep it just a brake light so I'm not gonna be running this controller just so I don't make things difficult so something that I did end up doing with this kit is upgrade the LEDs to some really high quality LEDs just because I do have tint in the rear and I want to make sure that the LEDs can be bright enough to be seen through the tin and I don't have to worry about that so the top LED strip is the one that came with the kit I ended up upgrading and going with these orange strips right here they're both gonna be red but this one's just gonna be a bit better since it is constructed a lot better with the high quality LEDs all right so going into the G35 first things first is you want to get access to the third brake light so I ended up putting down the seats and I have a bunch of mess disregard of that so we do need access on the third brake light so we can get into the wiring it does have a connector so we can go ahead and disconnect that and then we can actually piggyback off of the connector and use the wiring there Let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and disconnect the connectors in the back of the third brake light and we'll go from there. So all we really have to do is cut this wire and try to keep as much as we can so we can go ahead and connect this onto our LED strip. And then after that, we'll be able to connect it back into place and we'll be good to go. I ended up connecting the LED strip onto the connector already so it's good to go there I just put a little bit of electrical tape I don't know if I'm gonna keep this whole thing together so I do have this right here just in case and worst comes to worst I end up upgrading to maybe a LED strip on this one and end up keeping it the stock form so as of now I'm gonna have it with electrical tape in the future if I end up keeping it and I end up liking it I'll end up just doing the wiring right but for now this is how it's gonna be and we're gonna go ahead and test it right now see how it looks see how bright it is and see if I like it. Before we do that though, I just want to tell you guys that I love giving away stuff to you guys. It's really cool. It's really neat that I'm able to do this and I'm in a position where I can do that. The reason I'm saying that is because I have an old catch can right here. This is basically like the one I'm using. I don't know if you guys are interested in a giveaway. If you guys are interested in this being given away in the next video, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want stuff like this, small stuff, or if you guys prefer just having bigger things like big bore throttle body or something along those lines. I'm really going to strive to do a lot of giveaways for you guys as a thank you i really really appreciate the support that you guys have been giving on this channel so go ahead and leave a comment down below i really want to see what you guys think about small giveaways or just bigger items in the future go ahead and leave a comment down below and i'll make sure to read them and respond to you guys I ended up positioning that pry bar on the brakes so that we can go ahead and see in the back i'm doing it just so i can see how much light comes out so there you can see how that light strip looks. So that's basically the look that I'm going for, but it's going to be on the top. So before I stick it on, I just wanted to see how much light comes out. Honestly, it's not that bad, but if I do end up liking how it looks up top, I might just end up taking a little bit off of the tint at the top. So that way the light can really shine outwards. It does come with double sided sticky tape. So let's go ahead and stick it at the top and then we'll see how it looks. it is installed and I really like that you can't even tell that it's installed you don't see any red strip in the top it's tucked away pretty well so we don't have any worries on that but we are gonna have the wiring kind of out there for a bit until I see if I like it or not after that I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and maybe tuck it in all the way then I'll go ahead and see if I like it see if you guys like it and if you want to pick it up for yourself or if you'll pass on it all right guys same thing as before pry bar on the brake pedal so here it is this is the final product and you honestly can't really tell but 
I do have a lot of light out. So this is how it's going to be seen in the daytime, which I'm not really worried about. I'm more so worried about how it's going to look in the nighttime. And I can tell already that it's going to look really sick. Let me go ahead and turn off all the lights so that we can go ahead and see how it looks. All right, guys, moment of truth. This is how it's going to look at night. So here you can see how the LED strip looks. Honestly, I think it looks really damn good. Obviously, it's not as bright as I would want it to be, but that's because I do have the windshield tinted. So that's the only thing that's making it really hard to see. I do have 5% tint, so if you have anything less, it's obviously going to be brighter. Honestly, I didn't know if I was going to be a fan or not, but looking at it in person, I'm telling you guys, this looks really good and it honestly kind of suits the car. It doesn't look out of place, which is something that I was really concerned about. I didn't want it to look weird with the car. It's obviously something that not a lot of people are doing to their G35s, um, so I wanted to do that because of that reason as well. I've seen this on Teslas and Audis, like I said, and I really like the way it looks on those, and I was wondering if it was going to look good or if it was going to look out of place on this car. I think the only downside to this is going to be that the cabin looks bright as a motherfucker in there. <laughs> I'll try to fix it, see if that works, but it kind of looks cool. I don't know if you guys want that in your G35. I personally don't really want that, but if it does look a little cool at night, I'll probably keep it. All right, guys, so it's been a minute since the last clip, and I wanted to show you guys how it looks inside now. It's not as bad as it was before. Obviously, there's still some red in there, but I ended up just using some electrical tape to kind of cover up that red portion that was showing because it was showing a lot more over here. Now it's just showing over there, so it's going to be a lot more bearable so let's go ahead and cut into the nighttime that's when we'll really be able to see how it looks and if we like it or not like I said I am gonna be driving this car for a bit and see if I even like having this maybe it just ends up blinding the windshield and I can't see back but that's only with time we'll be able to tell what's going on but with that being said let's go ahead and cut into the nighttime all right guys so this is a nighttime and this is exactly how it looks with the brake light on I'm starting to like it more and more I really like how it looks there's a whole party going on over there disregard of that but I really do like the way it looks I think compliments the car I really thought that it was gonna look out of place or it just wasn't gonna look right but I really do think that it looks good on this G35 and I am planning on keeping it for at least a good while like I said link will be in the description for the LED kit you can obviously go ahead and wire it up to make the blinkers work as well I just didn't want to do that I wanted to be quick and simple make sure everything works and it's just a third brake light it's honestly so cool to look at even from here I mean you can obviously see see how nice that looks so I'm a fan of the way it looks I really do like it so that's gonna be all for this video I hope you guys did enjoy it leave a like if you did subscribe if you're new around here plenty of G35 content on the channel already and a bunch of G35 content coming up so go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications to be the very first one to know when I upload and I'll see you guys in the next video peace So one of the questions I got in one of the videos that I made previously on the coilovers for Max Beanie Rods, how they've held up so far. So one of the things I wanted to do with the coilovers that we got, I wanted to give you guys like an update and basically like a final thoughts on the whole coilover situation with Max Beanie Rods. Thomas has been driving the E46 for a couple months now and I haven't really seen any videos where they talk about Max Beanie Rods long term. So that's kind of a big reason for doing this video as well. So I was worried originally about scraping and and, and things like that coming in and out of driveways and going over speed bumps and things like that I haven't had any problems with any of that stuff I've gone over train tracks and speed bumps and in and out of multiple driveways with no issues the only one real downfall I say with this uh, kit is that it's not true rears and that the adjustability in the rear is there but it is a bit difficult to do so I would say if you're somebody who takes it on the track or really cares about being able to adjust it quickly and easily that is the one thing you're not really gonna get even right now him just driving like it's not bumpy it's not harsh it's comfortable yeah it's still sporty enough to where you know it doesn't feel like it's wallowing around but if you're on a budget if you just want to you know set it and forget it then this is like perfect you don't really have to worry about it once you install it if you guys are interested in picking up some set of coilovers for your car it doesn't have to be an e46 down for g35s 350z's use code joe for 15 percent off your whole order it'll help you out just take some of that cost away they're already a great price but with the 15 percent off it does help out it does also help out the channel with you guys supporting us with all the brands that we work with so it helps you it helps us so make sure you pick yourself up some coilovers.